I, uh, my trip uh, from Deese Lake to the Grand Canyon of the Stikine down Telegraph Creek Road uh, runs west from Deese Lake, BC, across this beautiful uh, canyon. And it is shelf roads and rough, a uh, little two track it devolves into, and it's quite the trip. And it was a day long trip, and uh, it was some fantastic views. And this is my video of that trip, so I'm just editing it right now. And um, enjoy, because it was uh, some beautiful scenery there. Wild Bill out. We are headed down Telegraph Creek Road to. Grand Canyon of the Stikine, it's called. This is a very interesting road. Ooh, look at that. We're gonna go over here and take a picture. Oh, can you get up? Look at this beautiful creek. Beautiful pool down there, and look at these. These are wolf tracks. Wow, that's unbelievable. Wolf tracks. Holy mackerel. Yep. Neat. Mm. It's got a timer on it. Okay. <laughs> nice. So here we are at this. I don't know. What's Tachko? Tachko Creek. I would love to get the fly rod and do some nymphs down there. That's nice. Anyway. Wild Bill out. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely. Look at this beautiful river here. Wow. What? Oh, yeah. Look at the snakes coming around. It's a really nice view from here. There's the Telegraph Creek Road there on my nav, navigation. Look how twisty that is. This is the Grand Canyon of the Stikine that we're in now. This is the river. And they're gonna get into some mountains, I hope, we've seen in the distance. Anyway, yeah, that's how twisty the road is. Wild Bill, out. Okay, yeah, we're doing some switchbacks on this canyon road. Wow, look at that view in the distance there. Unbelievable. You gotta really watch your speed because the corrugations are bad and your tires skip over them with the gravel and you hit the brakes and it just, it actually pushes you towards the edge, which is a little bit disconcerting when you're up this high. So, anyway, back to concentrating. Oh, here's another little switchback. Look at the view, look at the, in the distance, the valley, and I mean, it's just, it's absolutely incredible. Wow, I just, isn't that something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this canyon. It's unbelievable.
Oh really, eh? Nice. Careful. I don't, I don't know how steep that goes, but... Oh, okay. You could stop yourself, I guess. There's a river down there. Holy mackerel. This area is just beautiful. Oh yeah, you can, okay, let's walk without rolling and tumbling <laughs> down this hill. Here, get in behind me. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, and probably better shoes. Yeah. yeah. They just uh, probably don't hang on to your foot as well as a fully enclosed shoe would. Oh my. Holy mackerel. This is the Grand Canyon of the Stikeen, I'm assuming. Holy mackerel. Yeah. Holy mackerel, it's incredible here. Them on the... All right in front of you? Yeah. We're at the... Look at those rapids, eh? Holy mackerel. There's the town down there. I don't feel like stepping out onto that lava. It looks like it's all going to fall in at any minute, although it's probably been there for time in the morning. Way, way up. This is the, again, the Stikine, Grand Canyon of the Stikine. Look at that road. We gotta go twist around down there. And I don't know if this ends here or not. It keeps going around. Huh? Okay. Well, Bill, out. Look at that rock formation in this river. Holy mackerel. There's a small community right there. You can see the houses. They live down here. And it's, this is way out, like way, way out. <clears throat> wow, look behind you. Wow, 
this is a beautiful canyon. Looks like they probably do some kind of... Oh yeah, let's see they got the nets. See the nets in the water? Yeah. See if I can climb up here without making a fool out of myself. Wow, look at this. Two rivers meet here, eh? Yeah. That's crazy, that rock formation. What a beautiful area. And the road keeps going up that way. What do you think? Beautiful or what? Just a big climb up and out of that little community. Some ledge, a ledge road down below is the river. Look how quickly we were above yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's so weird, yeah. isn't it? Boy, 
You bring it up these roads every year, up and down, need the switch. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah. What did he say? That's the way to travel. Nice people. Holy, look at those rocks formations. That, that looks like limestone. Still on the Grand Canyon of the Stikine. Wow, look how beautiful this is. Amazing. Yeah, there's a place down there. See it? Oh, yeah. Wow. Those rock formations down there are just unbelievable. Wild Hill. More beautiful views of the Stikin Canyon. The Grand Canyon of the Stikin, as they call it. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Look how far down that is. Ooh. And up, up, up and away. Yeah. Look at 
this beautiful vista. This, this is just one huge, never-ending canyon. You see the rock spire down there? Th that's unbelievable. Oh. That was a hawk and something else. What's, that's, is that a rock down there? Yeah, I don't see. some animals there, it looks like. Yeah, it, it does. It looks like, but, the, but they're not moving. It could be, you know, but they're not, yeah, you're right, they're not moving unless it's just... I got my binoculars. Look at the birds are flying down below us. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, it's not moved one iota, so I think that's a, a rock or something. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful. And then it'll just go right up. Just go deep, deep, deep. No, no more battery. We're on uh, Telegraph Creek Road, which just turns into this wild, this wild uh, track. It just twists up and down.
see these mountains. <clears throat> Just absolutely unbelievable. Ooh, look how steep this is. Just leaving uh, Iskut, heading to Dees Lake. I was wondering, I wasn't sure whether I was going to go down to Kitimat, <clears throat> but it's going to be real hot in August down that way. I don't want to deal with that. And I like the Yukon, so I'd like to go to Kitimat. Maybe I will on the way back. I don't know. But right now I'm heading back up to the Yukon because there was a place. That I camped, and I, I gotta see if I can find it. <clears throat> and uh, there's a spot that goes off into the mountains. <clears throat> they have to cross a creek. It's the last year I camped there, and I, I had a shower there, and I did a little video of how my shower works and everything. And you're surrounded by mountains, it's really neat. And when I left, I saw this track that goes into the mountains. And I should wish I had it taken it last year. Well, I'll see if I could find it this year. Um, it's down along the, the border where the highway kind of weaves in and out between northern BC and the Yukon. And, um, yeah. So, anyway, I'm just going to explore a bit up in the Yukon. Back up there, it's going to be cooler. Beautiful, uh, beautiful area. And, um, yeah, and just kind of chill out in the Yukon, literally, because I don't want to deal with that heat uh, that's going to be encompassing even Prince George and Terrace. I mean, I was in Terrace when that heat wave hit, and it was, you know, it, it, it was hot, and it didn't cool down. It cooled down, but really not. Like, in Iskut, I woke up the other morning, it was three degrees. I'll take that. I will take that. It warmed up to, like... 20 or 21 degrees perfect so if I can escape that crazy heat that's what I'm going to do so that's what I'm doing right now I'm heading I'm going to hit Dees Lake gas up I might go to Sawmill Point recreation area down there and find a spot there's a picnic table make myself breakfast and then carry on up to the Yukon and do some exploring up there so Wild Bill. That's the situational report as of August 4th or 5th, whatever, 2024. Out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was my trip. We saw mountain sheep, uh, some possibly wild horses. But those canyons were unbelievable in rivers. But anyway, like, subscribe, and share if you like the content. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, there's the the Jeep's convalescing after a tough journey across Canada and a way up north through the roughest roads you can possibly imagine. I, th I think the best is yet to come. My Yukon up to the Northwest Territories trips through the mountains have really rough and off-road and remote. I had to use my five-gallon jerry cans to get back to, uh, an, uh, to where I could get gas again. Uh, it was a real true off-roading, uh, uh, overland off-roading in, in the true sense of the word, how I like it, remote travel. Anyhow, like, subscribe, and share. Wild Bill, out.